Hello there, thank you for joining me today. Today's sequence is all done lying on the back, so it's supine, and we're just going to be moving through some beautiful mobilizations. So it's quite a gentle practice, um, perfect for the morning or just an evening practice if you just want to do a little bit of moving, if you're feeling a little bit tired. So we'll make a start straight away. We're going to start lying down on the back. And we'll start in our constructive rest position here. So feet hip distance apart, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up and closing down the eyes. And just in this position here, you want that little bit of space underneath the back. So you don't want to be imprinting the back down onto the mat. You want to have that natural arch in the back there. Starting to have a sense of the whole body. Noticing in particular all the parts of the body that are in contact with the mat. And the soles of the feet. Backs of the hands and backs of the arms upper back, middle back, back of the pelvis, back of the head. And with each exhale, allow those points of contact to get a little bit heavier. Noticing the breathing coming in and out through the nose. So allow the breath to be easy. And if you can, gently extending into the inhale and extending into the exhale. And then uh, taking the arms a little bit away from the sides of the body, so coming up to the shoulders, and you can open the eyes if that feels better for you now, or you can keep them closed, whatever feels most comfortable, and then open the feet out as wide as the mat so the outside edges of the feet are parallel with the mat. And we're going to drop the knees over to the right. Keep the feet where they are so they stay nice and wide, and you turn the head over to the left. And then bring the legs back through center, inhale, and drop the knees over to the left as you turn the head to look over to the right. And then inhale through center, dropping the knees over to the right, head turns to the left. Inhale through center, drop the knees to the left, and head turns to the right. And just a few more, just uh, take your own time here and just continue to notice what's in contact with the mat. So, you know, rolling across the back of the head, rolling across the back of the pelvis, opening up the hips, a little bit of mobilizing through the spine and through the neck. Easy breathing. And the next time you've come to the left side and you come back to the center, let's stay there. And then let's bring the feet a little bit closer together. And we're gonna keep the arms at shoulder height and then turn the palms to face down. Bring the feet together and bring one leg up to your tabletop position and then the other leg up to your tabletop position. Squeeze those inner thighs together. I'm gonna to take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the knees stuck together so that left knee doesn't slide back. We're gonna take the legs halfway down over to the right and then inhale back up through center and then over to the left. And this time it's that right knee that doesn't slide back halfway down and then inhale through center. And then again, over to the right, knees stay together and come through center and over to the left and come through center. And again, keep your breathing nice and easy 
little bit of gentle core activation as well as mobilizing through the spine. And one more time to the right. And then last time to the left. And come back to center. Bring the feet down and then lift the hips up. Bring the hips slightly over to the left. We're going to bring the knees back to your tabletop and then drop the knees over to the right side. And this time that left knee can slide back so you don't have to keep them together. Interlace the hands at the base of the head. You're letting that left elbow drop open. Take an inhale, you're looking up. And then as you exhale, keep that right arm really relaxed and just roll over to the right. So you're curling over into this little ball. And then inhale to open up the upper body back towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, curling over to the right. And then inhale back up. And then exhale. Just very gently moving through the thoracic spine here, so that upper body. Try to keep the head really relaxed. You're not lifting the head up as you turn over to the right. So you're trying to keep as much of the body in contact with the ground as you can. And we're really focusing on ease of movement as much as possible. And if it feels comfortable to keep the eyes closed, then you can feel absolutely free to do that. And the next time you open up to the ceiling, let's just hold here for a few breaths. So letting that left elbow and shoulder drop down towards the ground. Just maybe deepening into your breathing as we've come into stillness. And then bringing the legs back to the center, feet down, reset the hips, and then let's lift the hips up, take them slightly over to the right this time, lift the legs up to your tabletop, dropping the knees over to the left, and that right knee can slide back, so you don't have to keep them together. And this time it's that right shoulder that's dropping down. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, curling over to the left, and then inhale, open up to center, exhaling to the left and inhaling, open center. Just continuing and you could play with the rhythm if you'd like to, if you'd like to move a little bit slower or if you want to move a little bit faster, sometimes it can feel quite good just to get into a little bit of um, momentum but just feel free to go at a pace that feels nice for you. And remember, the emphasis is on ease of movement. And when you're coming over to that opening to the ceiling, letting that right arm drop open down towards the ground as much as you can. And the next time you open up to the ceiling, let's hold it here. So allowing that right shoulder blade to be heavy down towards the mat. And then let's bring the legs back to center Maybe opening up the eyes if they're closed, recentering yourself, feet hip distance apart here, and just for a little moment, just arms down by your side, palms facing up. And then let's come into our figure four, placing that right ankle on top of the left thigh, bringing the legs in, holding behind that left thigh or the front of that shin, keeping that right foot flexed, and then let's take some circles with. Uh, the legs, just really wanting to target the outside of that right hip glute area. And then reversing the circle. And 
holding the legs in the center. Take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the legs in a little bit closer and just stay here for a few breaths. Just relaxing the shoulders down, pressing the back of the pelvis back down towards the mat as you squeeze the legs in. And then let's release that left foot down. Take that right leg up towards the ceiling and hold behind the thigh or a little bit further up or up towards the ankle. Try to flex that right foot towards the face. I'm going to flex and then point, flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. And then it's up to you. You can keep the foot relaxed or keep it flexed. We're going to take that soft bend through that right knee. Inhale and then exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend and then exhale to straighten. And again, inhale to bend and exhale to straighten. One more time, inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. And we're just going to hold it here. Option here to extend that left leg long if that feels like it's available. If you have a strap, you want to go a little bit further. Flex both feet. Thinking about this right hip crease moving away from this right shoulder. Taking one more full breath in, stay for the excess if there's any more space. And then let's bend into that right knee. Place both feet flat onto the mat. Place that left ankle on top of the right thigh and bring the legs in. Thread that left hand through the middle, holding behind the thigh or the front of that right shin if you can. Keep that left foot flexed. And then let's start by taking those circles. And if you're getting into any little tough bits, you might slow down as you're moving through that part of the circle, changing the direction. And then let's hold the legs in the center. Take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the legs in a little bit closer. Shoulders dropping down towards the mat. Taking one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. See if you can bring the legs in a bit closer in. And then let's release. Place that right foot down onto the mat and then extend that left leg straight up towards the ceiling. You can hold behind the thigh or a little bit further up. Try to keep the back of the pelvis down on the mat and let's start with flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point flex and point and then up to you you can keep the foot kind of relaxed or if you want to keep it flexed go for it and then we're going to bend this left knee inhale and then exhale to straighten inhale to bend and then exhale to straighten two more times inhale bend exhale straighten you might find a little bit more space inhale bend and exhale to straighten let's hold it here your choice, either stay or extend that right leg away, flexing both feet. Keep breathing. Trying to shift that left hip crease away from the left shoulder. Taking one more full breath in, inhale, and then exhale, maybe bring the leg a little bit closer towards you. And then let's bend into that left leg, bend both knees, feet flat on the mat, Bring the soles of the feet together. And let's open the knees out wide, coming into your Sukta Baddha Konasana. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Closing down the eyes. With each exhale, just allowing the whole body to soften. And then when you're ready, extending the legs out long, 
to come into your Shavasana. Letting the feet fall away from one another. Soft face, soft shoulders and soft belly. Whole body resting. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you would like to. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.